You know that charge you get when you and the Jedis are facing down the dark side? You're about to find out. You can discover the new Lego Star Wars Episode II collection. Now you can master a different kind of force. Because with Lego, when you make it, you feel it. The new Lego Star Wars Attack of the Clones collection, each set sold separately. Hello there everybody, it is that Star Wars guy here. Welcome to my review of the legendary 7163 LEGO Star Wars set, the Republic gunship with the infamous, legendary, the man himself, Jedi Bob. So this is without a doubt one of the most classic Star Wars sets in my opinion. I just got this at a collector's toy store not too long ago and I wanted to give you guys a quick view on it. So before we get to the set itself, let's start off with the box. So I hope you all like my new setup behind all my LEGO collection stuff here. So we're going to give it a shot and let me know what you guys think. Also, I, the music playing in the background, comment below and let me know what you guys think this music is. I'd love to, know, to see what you guys think it might be. Alright, so here is the box. Pretty great artwork, not gonna lie. I love the gunship right here, the real gunship. Not the Lego one, but it's pretty cool to have that also. A little minor thing, I do not have the droid go with me right now, but that is okay. So I will make the best of this review by without it. So pretty awesome set in my opinion. So let's get a look at the sides. We've got the top of it with the minifigures. Pretty cool. Bad guys. Magnetic chamber. Pretty awesome. So. Let's get a look at the back of it. This is pretty cool. I love the alternative builds they have here with this, and this is an alternative, excuse me, with this part. Excuse me, you can build a robot, you can build a jet plane. It's pretty awesome how Lego did that back in the day. I really wish I had the uh, Slave 1 set, Jango Fett Slave 1, that's an awesome set. This is a lot of cool stuff happening in the back here, and I love the little uh, insignias of the advertisements here. That's pretty awesome, dude. All right, well, let's hop into the set. All right, so here is the Republic gunship in all its great glory. So let's get a look at it. So we got the front side here. No, I am not. Ha I do not have the uh, little, I guess, dark gray uh, light tube blades installed in the cannons right here. Those, those were not came with the set, so I'm gonna have to order those later. Sorry about that, guys, just to let you know. So what a minor thing, but not a huge deal. All right, so we've got the clone pilots in here sitting with the, uh, not too much going on the cockpit. I don't even think, there is a little control panel stick piece right here. So that's pretty cool they had that. Not too big for 2002, but we'll take it. It's a long time ago, so they got to give it the Lego for that. So same here on the top part. So that's pretty cool that Lego was able to do that. So nice job. And the top part here with the uh, little engines and top cannons for the gunship, we've got some engine power inside here with the blue, pretty cool tubes. And then on the back here, you Lego thought this was a carrying handle. They said themselves this is a carrying handle, but it isn't. And look, it just pops off. So just be careful, kids, because Lego says this is a carrying handle. It is not a carrying handle. So please remember that. If you carry this thing, you are going to be very sad when it breaks. And then on the bottom here, we've got, of course, the wings of the cockpit. Pretty cool. Or not cockpit, the laser gun gunner, excuse me. Laser cannon. Pretty cool. On the back here, we've got some stuff opening here. A little, I guess this could be storage for his light, Jedi Bob's lightsaber, but there's not a whole lot going on back here. Of course, we've got the cannon piece, pretty cool. Moves a little bit around, kind of not a full 360, but we'll take it. And then you can put that back down. Same on this side for the wings. And then here we've got a gunner piece of the clone engine, yeah, clone uh, gunner, excuse me. So pretty cool. Got some weapon storage for him right there. So you gotta admit that is pretty cool. I do like that a lot. They were able to store that in. We got the uh, Republic Insignia right there. So that's pretty awesome. Now let's take a look at the top part, or not the top part, the inside part back here. Show you guys what we got back here. It's pretty cool the stuff they did with this set. It's really awesome. So the first thing we got going on here, you can lift this whole thing up. And this is insane. This whole thing becomes an inside area. Check this out. So, da 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 No, I'm just kidding, but this is pretty cool. So we've got a lot of couple, we've got a few things happening in here. So we've got a little storage rack with a magnetic piece right here, holding some uh, little tools inside. We've got a little control panel right here. And then uh, not too much going on. We've got a little walkway for the troopers right there. So that's pretty cool. I do like they were able to add that. It's such a unique gunship, dude. And the whole thing that's crazy about this is this whole top part will detach off this, which is crazy. So this part will become a separate piece and you can take this whole gunship off and make it like a dropship, like kind of like the, uh, 
dropship back there, which is pretty cool. They were able to kind of add that little feature. And so I got to give Lego credit for that. So that's pretty cool. Awesome job, Lego. So yeah, that's about it for the set. So let's take a look at the minifigures. All right, so here are the minifigures for the 716 Free Republic gunship. So we've got the man himself, the legend, the icon, the miracle man, Jedi Bob. Yes, he came with this set, legendary man himself. Seen in the visual dictionary and this set, he's got his awesome chrome lightsaber here. Not too much going on the torso, but in the normal brown legs and the brown cape, but pretty awesome figure. He is legendary. This guy is worth like 130 now, guys. I recommend you guys jump on this minifigure immediately. He will be probably like 200 probably by the end of this year. So I recommend you guys please go jump on that before he goes up a lot more. So we got the... Uh, we got four chrome troopers, OG chrome troopers. They don't have face molds, but they just have the black fa uh, face under here. Not a face, like eyes or anything, but it's a pretty cool OG clone. They did a good job replicating the realistic clone. So, nice job, Lego. I'll give you that. And it came with four clones. The two are in the uh, bubble turns right now, back there and back there. So, that's cool. And then we've got these little metal blue droids, which are not accurate to the movie because they are black. So, mistake on Lego's part, but not a huge deal. Um, so yeah, I just gotta be careful with these guys. If you snap the legs, yeah, they're gonna crack, dude. So you gotta be really careful with these old droids. These are like 2002 style droids. So you gotta be extremely careful when like playing with these things because these things will snap. So you gotta be careful of that. So yeah, that's about it for the minifigures. Not too many besides that, but the droid cut, I didn't have it, so I can't include it. So that's about it. Let's get to the final verdict. All right, guys, time for the final verdict. This is a legendary set. This is the first iteration of the gunships from the 2008 version, the 2013 version, and the 2021 UCS version of the gunship. I gotta say, this might be my second favorite gunship. The first gun, my favorite gunship is actually the Clone Wars gunship, which I already did a review on, but this set is legendary. The first gunship, a legendary vehicle from the Clone Wars and the prequel era. This is a great set, guys. I recommend you jump on this for these minifigures for the battle droids and jedi bob they're legendary in their own rights have a great day everyone lots more videos coming your way almost at 500 subscribers guys we can get there may the force be with you all always